As we take a look now at the trade floor of the Exhibition Center here inside Tissue World Miami, you're joining us once again in the Tissue World studio where we're interviewing one of our panelists who joined us on stage during the main conference day, Dr. Sudipta Dasmohapatra, who's faculty from Duke University. And it's a pleasure to have you with us, Doctor. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed for being here. Um, in your panel discussion on big data, um, it's almost the elephant in the room, if I can say that up front. Mm -hmm. It's kind of big data has arrived in the tissue industry. We're not sure yet how to squeeze it, shape it, learn it, understand it. And I guess that's why you were here with us at conference this year. What's your message inside big data, ma'am? So, um, you know, we all have heard about, you know, how in the silicon industry, for example, you know, big data basically companies are utilizing that effectively in order to harness their operations and learn, you know, and get more profitability, basically um, identify where innovations can happen within the different companies, uh, operations, as well as, as we look at the customer side, you know, and the retail side, where those kind of innovations can happen, understanding of customer behavior, predicting demand, sales, you know, all of that. So big data really has uh, the capability of capturing all of that and identifying, you know, patterns that we have never seen before. And in the tissue industry now, um, I believe a lot of the paper manufacturers and tissue manufacturers are, are starting to look at, you know, data that are coming at them uh, in large volumes, you know, at great speed, you know, in terabytes per second, as well as, you know, looking at wide variety of sources of data, internal, external, you know, data that is structured and unstructured, you know, video files, you know, um, image files and so on. So to process that and, and look at looking at new technologies and partnerships that can help them identify new areas of retaining customers as well as looking at new areas of gaining revenue um, this is going to be really key right now so um, so it's it's you know mm. it's it's there it's it's out you know it's it's that big elephant that you're talking about in the yes. room however it's something that we cannot live without this is going to create a tremendous and fundamental impact in the way we do business today and it ranges from not just performance improvement inside your own area of operation but as you say, extends right into that customer space and beyond as well. Mm -hmm. So where do most people need to begin right now? If thinking about it, they've heard about it, they've been to Tissue World, they're understanding that big data is something that's out there, what are the first perhaps tentative steps that people in the tissue industry should be taking to understand it and absorb it and work with big data? Right. So uh, one of the things that I would like to say first is to understand what kind of data does the company already have within their portfolio. What is your your biggest pain point? You know, is it in the technology side? Is it in understanding of the customer side? Can you basically try to start by partnering with, let's say, an analytical organization or a design organization or a technological organization that has some capabilities in doing this, you know, in order to take one small step. Let's say, you know, is there, a, you know, a, a small pilot that you would want to do? You know, that's where you should basically start in order to identify the value of big data. I would suggest that at this point of time, if you are starting up, do not go forward full-fledged with, you know, millions of, of, of dollars of investment into one large changing of infrastructure and technology, but really, really pretty much starting up, you know, with a viable use case or a case study that where you can actually see the value, where you have a need to use the data with different types of, uh, of, of analytical and softwares that you may already have. Build on uh, some of the past data that you already have and the models that you have already looked at, um, and then partnerships are important. You know, data providers as well as with um, some of the the firms that actually can provide the, the analysis or analytical support to the organization. And your own role within Duke University, how do you best explain that to us? So I'm a faculty in the uh, Department of Statistical Science at Duke University. I'm also the director of the Masters in Statistical Science program. We have, um, you know, hundreds of students that actually come through the program and um, get uh, modeling and data science, you know, and statistical science related um, information, background, knowledge. So um, I'm here, you know, in the tissue world to basically identify what kind of of challenges and opportunities are there that uh, universities and industry can collaborate on, especially in the tissue industry, um, and also uh, to identify, you know, what kind of talents uh, are needed in this industry, you know, so we can basically, um, you know, take that to the classrooms and we can 
uh, you know, identify the skills and give the skills that the students would need to actually come in and be successful in this particular industry. Magnificent. Well, we're delighted that you've joined us here Thank at you very Tissue much. World. How have you found it, by the way, just, just thinking about the entire experience, both the exhibition and the conference so far? Um, how does it strike you? Yeah, so this is great. This is the first time that I'm attending the Tissue World uh, conference. You know, I've, I've come down and I've met with a lot of uh, network with uh, quite a number of uh, companies, you know, and industry and talk to them about their data needs. So this is actually really, really good. I would suggest anybody who wants to be to, um, uh, you know, uh, learn more about this particular industry to come into the Tissue World um, and, and, you know, come and look at the exhibits, you know, talk and network. You know, this is, this is obviously a great place uh, to, to learn about, you know, the particular industry and different challenges and opportunities that you well, can Well, thank have. you for the endorsement, Doctor, as well. And thank, thank you. you for your participation. Absolutely. It's been a real pleasure. Thank great. you very thank much you. indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.